Now we're going to look at exploring similar solids. Similar solids are two solids of the same type with equal ratios of their corresponding linear measures, just like similar figures in a plane have equal ratios of corresponding linear measures. The common ratio is called the scale factor of one solid to the other. Any two cubes are similar. Any two spheres are similar. So we can have similar cylinders. We can have non-similar cylinders. Notice that here the ratio stays the same. Here the height is the same, but the radius is different, so those would not be similar. Tell whether the given right triangular, given right rectangular prism is similar to the right rectangular prism shown on the right. So is this one similar to that? The lengths are eight to or four to eight from the one, the smaller one to the bigger one, which is one half. The width is two to four, which is also one half, but the height is two to two, which is one to one. So no, these two are not similar. What about this one? Well, we'll do the same thing. The length is 4 to 6, which is 2 thirds. The width is 2 to, th two to 3, which is, <coughs> excuse me, please, which is 2 thirds. And the height is 2 to 3, which is 2 thirds. So these two are similar. So one for you to try to tell whether or not these are similar and explain your reasoning. The solids are similar because the ratios of the corresponding size is 4 to 3. We got that by saying our width 12 to 9 comes out to be 4 to 3. The length 16 to 12 comes out to be 4 to 3. And then the height is simply 4 to 3. So since all three of those are 4 to 3, we know that they're similar. What about this one? Well, we're still talking about those same things. We'll compare our radiuses and our heights. And it turns out that they're not the same because the heights is 15 to 10, which is 3 to 2, and the radius is 10 to 5, which is 2 to 1. So those are not similar figures. Similar solids theorem. If two solids have a scale factor <laughs> of A to B, <coughs> excuse me, then the corresponding areas ratio is A squared to B squared. And we studied that earlier when we were talking about similar planar figures or similar polygons. But it still holds true here. So if our radius is 1 to 2, or A to B, then our surface area is going to be A squared to B squared. And our volume is going to be A cubed to B cubed. Because remember, what we're talking about when we're talking about volume is cubic inches. So we're going to have to cube that. The cans shown are similar with a scale factor of 87 to 100. Find the surface area and the volume of the larger can. So for my theorem, I can write and solve two proportions. For my surface area, I need the surface area of 1 over 2 would be a squared over B squared, so 51.84 is to the surface area of the second one as 87 squared is to 100 squared. So that's just solving a proportion. comes out to be about 68.49. For my volume, the volume of 1 has to be A cubed to B cubed. So 28.27 to the volume of the second one is equal to 87 cubed over 100 cubed. And once again, cross multiplying and dividing will give us our volume of our second can. Pyramids are similar. Pyramid P has a volume of 1,000 centimeters, and Pyramid Q has a volume of 216 cubic inches. So find the scale factor of Pyramid P to Pyramid Q. Well, according to this, the ratio of the two volumes is A cubed to B cubed, which is 1,000 over 216. So we find the cube roots to see that our scale factor is 10 to 6. Simplify that down to 5 thirds. 
The store sells ball, balls of yarn in two different sizes. The diameter of the larger ball is twice the diameter of the smaller ball. If the yard, balls of yard cost 750 and 150 respectively, which ball of yarn is the better buy? Well, we'll compute the ratios of the volumes to the diameters. The volume of the law, large is the volume of the small, is 2 cubed to 1 cubed. Now, where am I getting that 2 cubed and 1 cubed? Well, it says 2 to 1. The ratio is twice as big, so that's 2 to 1. So that is 8 or 8 to 1. We'll find the ratio of the cost. The price of the small is 750, or the large is 750. And the volume of the a price of the small ball is a dollar fifty. That should say price, not volume, which is five to one. If the ratios were the same, there would be no difference. But since the volume increases at a greater rate than the price, the large ball is a better buy. So you get a bigger volume. Cube C has a surface area of 54 square units, and cube D has a surface area of 150 square units. Find the scale factor. Then find the edge length of D. Use the scale factor to find the volume of D. So this is going to take a little work. Turns out that D is 5, and the volume is 125. Now, how did we get that? Our surface area of C over our surface area of D is 54 to 150. Well, we know that is A squared to B squared. So what we need to do is reduce that, 54 over 150. If we divide both sides by 2, we get are both of them by 2, we get 27 over 75. We know that 3 will go into 27 9 times and 25. So I've got 9 over 25 is A squared over B squared. So A over B is the square roots of 3 to 5. So find the length of D. So the length of side D is 5. Use the scale factors to find the volume of D. So if D is 5 and this is a cube, then the volume is 5 cubed. What if, in example 4, calculate a new price for the larger ball of yarn so that neither ball would be a better buy than the other? In order to do that, you would have to make it $12. What we do is we take the scale factor, which was 8 to 1, is equal to, we need the price of the large ball, no, we need the price of the small ball, and then we calculate a price for the large ball.